It is fairly simple and inexpensive to build your own exposure unit for use with photopolymer plates. This one is made of two sheets of quarter inch thick plate glass. Be sure it doesn't block UV rays. The bottom piece of glass is wrapped in scrap fabric to give the plate a little grip and cushion. The fabric should have a little squish but not any pile or loose fibers that might deposit lint on the plate. I'm making this one with an old towel. Fleece and sweat pant material work nicely too. Cut the fabric so it's slightly larger than the plate. Tape it to the back side of the bottom sheet of plate glass using packaging tape. Tape the corners in place first and then work from the middle out on each side, tugging the fabric to get it snug. When finished, the back side will look like this and the top side will look like this. Next, run masking tape along the edges of the top piece of glass to prevent cuts and protect the glass from minor bumps. Pressure will be applied using four clamps with rubberized ends. These should be positioned in the middle of each side for even pressure. If you plan to expose intaglio plates, you will also need an aquatint screen. These can be found at many online printmaking supply stores. They work in a manner similar to a traditional rosin aquatint, by creating a random texture on the plate of areas that etch and areas that don't etch. In this case, areas that are exposed to the sun and areas that are protected. They are capable of producing subtle tonal gradations and continuous tone. Aquatint screens have two sides, a matte side and a shiny side. The matte side is what makes contact with the plate during exposure. Once everything is assembled, you're ready to go. The unit will provide the most reliable results between the hours of 11 a.m. and 2 p.m. on completely clear, sunny days. Do not try to expose with rain or cloud cover. While exposing, you will know you've angled the unit properly when the handles of the clamps line up perfectly, like this, and not like this. There is an additional video covering how to expose photopolymer plates, including washout and exposure times.